Hey guys, um, I've shot a couple videos in the last, I'd say, month, but I haven't posted anything because I just haven't really done it. Um, they're pretty shitty quality like my normal videos are, but I decided I'd, I'd do a video on my new butt stock for my AR. I finally found, I really wanted a flat dark earth because that's the kind of theme I'm going with if you couldn't kind of tell. I've got the AFG2, got the Myad grip, I got the enhanced trigger guard, and I got the MBUS 2 rear sight. Uh, those are all on flat dark earth. I got a mag in flat dark earth, but I like having my my 42 rounder in it. It makes it look less like an AR. <laughs> and I wrapped that in camo form, the multi-cam camo form, which I like. I also did it to the barrel. Not that you guys really care, but... Anyways, I ordered the STR, which is the storage type restricted buttstock. Um, this one is a lot like the CTR, except for it's got um, storage built into it for batteries or you know maybe a round or two. So, almost all Magpul crap comes with, I shouldn't say crap, it's not crap, it's really high quality stuff and I love it. Comes with a sticker, can't beat a sticker. And then... Comes with the butt stock itself. I'm just gonna toss the box to the side. Oh, I hit my dog. <laughs> He's under a blanket. And then it comes with a dummy round, which I thought was just kind of neat, but it's actually what they recommend you use to install that, which I don't recommend to use because if you look at this, it's gonna be hard to focus in on it. But uh. See how chewed up that is, and actually the tip of this is missing because I was using it and it broke off. So I don't recommend you use that. I recommend you use an actual AR round, which one of my boxes of tool ammo had this one in it, and it's obviously dented. Don't put this through your rifle if you ever see one that's dented, or Oh, where's that other one at? Or if you see that the round or the the bullet is sunken in like that, don't put them through your round or through your gun. You're just gonna f something up, jam it, and scratch up your insides. So that's why you also should always check every round in a box before you put it into your magazine to see if there's any, you know. Uh, fucked up rounds, which I have obviously found a couple. But the good thing about having a fucked up round is you don't have to worry about shooting it, and you can use it as a tool to install that. Ooh, cool beans! Um, so I'm going to show you the little compartment or storage compartment on it. First, it's right here, and you just these things are rubberized, and you just pop it, and then you've got a nice little hole for some batteries. And then they have this little cap in there that you take out or you leave in depending on which batteries you have. And then you just slide it back on there. And if you listen, those fuckers aren't moving. They don't make a noise, which I thought was pretty impressive. Because normally you have stuff in, they move around, but... Oh, there's a little bit. But that's not much, so... I'm going to take them out just because I want to. And put my little black cap back on. Alright. So, this is how it normally comes. That's pushed down. All you got to do to get that up is push that. That pops up. And then if you look, there's this little half groove. That's where you stick the round and pry, and then it allows it to go on. So first I'm going to take off my old butt stock, which on a DPMS is pretty darn simple. Just kind of pull out and slide it back, and it's off. And 
gonna be tough to get this on camera having it laying down like that but so then I'm gonna stick my round down and then pry and you'll see that this little nub here is moving that's good so it's probably up good enough that I can slide this thing on I hope and it's not so slides on a little ways I'm gonna get a better grip on this and then there you go and then click it in the spot and then that cinches it down so there got a buttstock on and then to, to move it you push that down which pops that hold it you can move it forward move it back and then don't forget to put that down because right now you can hear kind of a wiggle but when you snap that down it kind of crimps it and you have a lot less wiggle so overall I like it I really wanted the CTR but I couldn't find it in flat dark earth every place I went to our commercial spec flat dark earth I couldn't find it anywhere and I kept trying and trying and trying and every place would say they have some in stock and then they're on back order which is bullshit if you have something in stock you fucking have it in stock don't say it's on back order a week after I order it because I don't like that and I'm a patient person like I waited three and a half weeks just to get my uh, my flat dark earth <laughs> covers here and I never got them and I just canceled my order and I didn't even bitch so I don't know if you're gonna say something is in stock it better be in stock at least that's how I would run a business so anyways yeah it's a good butt stock the butt pad here is is fantastic it's you know not too big but with this extra panel here where the, the storage is gives you a nice little cheek perch and it's pretty comfortable to shoot so I like it and if anybody was thinking about getting an, an, an STR do it man you're not gonna be disappointed it's a it's a fantastic bus stock just like almost any Magpul product I've never had a problem with it and this thing's getting decked out in it as you can see Magpul 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 and I'm not a spokesperson for them they don't give a crap about what I have to say and I do have an extra AFG because I decided to go with this color so yeah I think I'm going to sell it to a buddy for like $100. He doesn't know any better. I'm just kidding. That's ridiculous. Um, that's all I got. If you have any questions, probably don't ask me because I usually don't have good answers anyways. <laughs> but that's all I got. Thanks, guys.